Occupy Los Angeles demonstrators are standing in solidarity with protesters in Oakland. Occupy Oakland is planning a massive strike meant to shut down the city for a whole day. The strike follows a police raid that turned violent, injuring dozens of people and sending a former Marine to the emergency room. This show of support comes as Occupy LA is ramping up preparedness for a police raid that some protesters believe is coming. When Occupy Oakland got raided by the police and there was so much police brutality, we you know, really saw an opportunity. Alejandro Cruz is with the Committee to Stop Police Brutality. Cruz says the violence in Oakland shows how police continue to protect the 1% at the expense of the 99%. But she says the raid has turned against the police by inspiring Occupy protesters everywhere. We were watching that on Twitter, we were um, on YouTube, on Facebook, and we saw that they were able to stand up to, to the police, take arrests, take beatings, and come back the next day. The Committee to Stop Police Brutality says it's possible that Los Angeles police will raid the City Hall encampment. Committee officials are preparing the protesters for when the police decide to move in. If there is a tear gas situation, if there is rubber bullets happening, that we're going to have that. We're going to have cameras documenting it. We're going to have legal observers documenting it. We're going to have, you know, places where we're going to go. Los Angeles Police Chief Charlie Beck says there's no immediate plan to remove the protesters. However, Chief Beck also says the protesters can't stay indefinitely. Demonstrators say the LAPD is being more cautious than other cities because of the department's history. The LA police and sheriffs have um, a lot of people watching what they're doing exactly because of what you said from Rodney King and decades before. Demonstrators say their best defense against police brutality is to continue to increase their numbers. They say that won't be difficult because more people keep arriving each day. That's what I think is so beautiful about this movement. It brings together people of all different nationalities and from different strata of society who have been wanting and waiting for something like this for a long time. Occupy LA says they hope to follow Oakland's example by planning a citywide strike in the coming months. Ross Frazier, Press TV, Los Angeles.